Hey parents, this is uh, Jamie. Just give me a quick update on our children's ministry and also giving you a quick little fun challenge to do with your, your children or your grandchildren. So this little video is quickly for our parents and grandparents here at First Baptist. So hope you're doing well. Just wanted to give you a quick update on our children's ministry. A couple of things are going on. First, the, over the this week, I want to have a few things, just fun, informative, devotional type challenges for you to do with your children or grandchildren. I'll post the video that I'm doing now here just in a few moments, and you'll have the first challenge as well as some of the updates. I'll also post another challenge tomorrow, and so challenge number one, which is today, and challenge number two, which is tomorrow, will get us through the remainder of this week and hopefully have those challenges completed and all that kind of fun stuff by Friday. I'll also have something for us to do over the weekend. And I'm looking into and doing some research on some do-at-home you know, stuff that you can do with your children over the remaining time that we're, we're separated. It is obviously very different, not meeting together on Wednesday night and Sunday morning for Children's Church. I'm actually sitting in Miss Susie's Sunday school class, and so your children are not getting Wednesday night if they're able to attend and or Sunday school or Children's Church. So what I want to do is just give us a little bit of opportunity for you at home as the parent to sit down or do a chat, sit down and talk, do a challenge and talk through a passage of the Bible, a story from the Bible, so that your children, uh, our student ministry, our children's ministry, so to speak, are continuing to have a chance to have their faith strengthened even in the midst of uh, you know different circumstances. So I'll post that, post this video here shortly with our first challenge. Again, I have another challenge tomorrow that will get us through Friday. Both of those challenges will be, in essence, due, if you want to say it that way, <clears throat> to be completed by Friday. We have something for us to do every weekend and hopefully have more of a solid plan in place of uh, stuff that you can do uh, you know, more regularly, you know, if that's the right way to say that, over the next few weeks as we you know, deal with and, and understand the need to be a part because of the coronavirus pandemic that's going on. So you have the challenges coming up. Please stay, stay uh, I guess, paying attention, stay in, in touch and uh, look for updates on Vacation Bible School from Miss Susie, Miss Laurie, or Miss Jennifer. And then for those who are going to kids camp <clears throat> in June, excuse me, I'm actually rocking one of the kids camp shirts right now. If uh, they're, they're still in limbo as well as they continue to communicate to the church via email updates. And so right now it's still a go. And it's June 20th through 23rd. But uh, we have to just kind of play it by ear on what's going on there. So the updates, sorry, um, are the challenges, paying attention to Miss Susie, Miss Laurie, and Miss Jennifer as they are your Vacation Bible School directors of uh, updates of what that looks like as Vacation Bible School will be here quickly. It's just in the middle of June and then Kids Camp follows up Vacation Bible School shortly after that. So just stay in touch with them. Watch for updates from them, you know, as they will be communicating what Vacation Bible School needs are, what that looks like, if there are any changes that have to take place. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's that. So here's the uh, first challenge. I want to take just challenge you to take any of household items. Let me give you an example. Toys from the kids, furniture, stuff out of the pantry. And I want to see who can build the tallest tower. Uh, it needs to be measured. And what I want us to do is build the tallest tower. You and your children have to do this together. Or you and your grandchildren do this together. Build the tallest tower because what we're going to do is give you a few questions to talk about the Tower of Babel. And so just like in the Tower of Babel in Genesis chapter <clears throat> chapter 11, verses 1 through 9, uh, they decide to build a tower to the heavens. We're going to build a tower to the ceiling. We're going to build a tower. So hope you have something taller than eight foot ceilings. Maybe you can find somewhere if you got to go outside and do it. But I want to see household items. So you can take your coffee table and use it as a base to start. Uh, Legos, cans. Obviously, you want to be careful because you don't want to put too much heavy stuff <coughs> heavy stuff to break something or fall over on your children. And so, parents, this is your challenge to do something fun with your children that is also uplifting and building up their faith. So, build a tower out of household items. Take a measurement. And what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture and put that picture in the comment section 
below this video. This video will be on, if you're looking at it, you're looking at it on the church Facebook page. So put a comment with that picture telling us how tall it is <coughs> and make sure we can see what it was built out of. So when you finish, I want to see those pictures posted. I'll be doing the same thing with Caleb and Leah. So I'll be doing that and taking pictures. I've got a 12 foot ceiling in my house and I don't know if I can reach it because I don't know if I, uh, we can make something stay that uh, tall without falling over. But I want to see your creative side. It's also a fun family time for you to do something with your children that also can add a spiritual benefit into it as well. So I will post in the, when I post this video, I'll post in the comments the discussion questions that you can use to discuss the passage of scripture about the Tower of Babel. So once you build your tower, or if you want to do it beforehand, you can go read Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 through 9, excuse me. <coughs> you can read Genesis chapter 11, 1 through 9. That's the story of the Tower of Babel. They want to make a name for themselves and build a tower to the heavens. We know from that passage of scripture that, that God came down and scrambled their languages so they were uh, extremely disrupted in their ability to communicate and so some of the discussion questions that, that you'll see posted are what why did uh why did god change their language what did the people want to build it and why what happened what were what were the people's motives and so i'm keeping the discussion questions very friendly as far as easy to talk with your children from age you know, three years old so something you know, leah could answer if she hears me read the story all the way through hopefully something that our fifth or sixth graders <clears throat> can get to pondering and thinking. And so these are, <clears throat> excuse me, these are by no means the only questions you can ask. But I would encourage you to take on this challenge, do something fun with your family, post those pictures in the comment section below this video, tell us how tall it got, make sure we can see those pictures good because uh, it would be really neat to see the creative side that you come up with. Read that passage of scripture with your children and take advantage of some of these discussion questions. This is challenge number one. We will do another challenge posted tomorrow and then we'll have something for the weekend. And so I would like to see you complete this challenge by Friday. So we wrap up this challenge and you also have another challenge. So it gives you a couple of challenges to take on the rest of this week. Hope it's something fun for your family, something enjoyable that you can do with your kids. But it's also very beneficial because we're not being able to invest in the gospel, invest into them the gospel and biblical stories here at church. But the reality is, I hope you take on that challenge yourself because it's very clear from Scripture that you, the parents, are the most important influencer from a spiritual standpoint that your children will have. So you spend uh, tons of time with them, and so I hope they see in you a desire to grow in your faith and impart in them the importance of faith in God. Love you guys. I'll be giving a bunch more updates. You'll see much more um, frequent videos being posted, stuff being posted. And so I'll keep you in the loop as we, uh, we kind of walk through this coronavirus pandemic and see where we land in terms of how long we'll be separated, but continue just as I've told the teenagers and teenage parents, we can continue to be the church, even though we're not physically meeting inside the four walls of the church. So let's be the church. Let's, let's continue to, to challenge our children and grow in our faith. And you and I as adults, let's make sure we are growing in our faith as well. Love you guys. If you have any questions, you can uh, let me know. Uh, text, call, comment in the uh, comment section here. But uh, let's, let's, let's take on this challenge and have a little bit of fun with our families. Talk to you soon.